Hey, welcome back to Talking BS with Melody. And today I do have some BS for you. So back in the early 2000s, I lived in a neighborhood in Knoxville. And periodically there would be someone who would put their house up for sale. And, and I used to drive by with my family and I would talk, you know what, when the time comes for us to sell our house, we're going to do for sale by owner because we wanted all the money, just like most people do. But let me tell you, that is a mistake on a lot of levels. First of all, most people want to do for sale by owner to get that commission that would normally go to an agent. Well, first of all, there is a little bit of a misconception. So when there is a commission involved, your realtor or your agent does not get all of that commission. It is split between the um, buyer's agent and the seller's agent. So let's say, for example, the commission is 10%. So 5% of that would go to the um, seller's agent and 5% would then go to the buyer's agent. But then there's another split. So every real estate agent or realtor um, has to be um, under a broker. And um, so when an agent uh, becomes an agent, they are what is called an independent contractor in most cases. There are exceptions, but in most cases, um, they are an independent contractor and they are working under a broker. So let's say the selling agent got that 5%. Well, now they have to split that with their broker because their broker is um, maybe giving them an office, maybe the broker is doing advertising for them, maybe the broker is um, got all of these these things that the, the marketing aspect that the agent needs to do their job more efficiently. So, going back to our fake scenario here, if there's a 10% commission, the actual agent is only getting 2.5%. Now you might say, well, Melody, still, that's a lot of money. Okay, I agree. In some cases it is. But what you also don't know is that the agent, uh, the independent contractor, um, is all the miles they're putting on their car, they don't get paid for that. Um, all of the pictures that are taken, most agents do that themselves or they have to hire a photographer out of their own money to take pictures of the house for the listing. Um, think about the multiple appointments that are made, um, the phone calls that are made, um, there is um, all the marketing plans, putting it on the MLS, um, which is multiple listing service, which is basically where um, the Zillow and Realtor.com and all of these other websites get their information from. So there is much more to a realtor or an agent than maybe Common Joe knows about. Secondly, another reason why um, a lot of people want to put their house for sale by owner is they have a buyer in mind. You know, that sometimes that happens. But again, a lot of times that will fall through or they're not getting as uh, many um, showings in their house. And so, when a for sale by owner house um, is listed, it does not go into the multiple listing service. So your window of people seeing that house for sale is very, very limited, as opposed to if you use an agent or a realtor, then that um, expansion window is so much broader because we can put it on the MLS and even people from other states can see it. Um, the third reason is a lot of people put their um, house for sale by owner. Well, it's easy. Anybody can do it, right? Let me reassure you, it is not that easy. And oftentimes, um, a for sale by owner will have a price in mind, and then maybe they'll get an offer, um, and it's not what that person wanted, and so it just kind of shuts off. Whereas when you have an agent or a realtor, they have negotiating skills where uh, maybe that you know, different things can be considered, maybe a closing cost could be put in, or maybe so-and-so is willing to fix this, or something like that. And so a real estate agent knows the market, and they know what the prices are going for, they can give you estimates of what houses with your square footage and your uh, number of bedrooms should 
be marketed for and then if that price is not offered then they can do some negotiation so why should you choose a realtor or a real estate agent well for a lot of the reasons I just told you um, they get more exposure they can list that house on the MLS the multiple listing services they can do all your marketing all your advertising put the sign up um, listed on social media Facebook Instagram Twitter uh, their website, on their app. Um, there's just, I mean, it's tons galore. Um, another reason why is, again, back to that negotiation skill, the realtor or the real estate agent has these skills that they can go back and forth, and we've got some tools in our tool belt that we can sometimes pull out that sometimes Common Joe um, may not have if they're for selling by owner. Um, the third thing is, I wanted to tell you, is Every agent um, has to be licensed through their state. So I am licensed through the state of Tennessee. However, um, if they are only licensed by the state of Tennessee, they are called a real estate agent. Well, there's also real tour. And a real tour is someone who is not only governed by the state, but also is a member of the National Association of Realtors. And we have a code of ethics that we must abide by and if not we are either heavily fined or or there's other consequences so we kind of have two governing bodies watching over us so if you ever see that little symbol it says realtor with a, and then a capital r with a circle around it that just means that we are a part of another governing body who has to watch all of our business practices and make sure that we are doing what is always best for our clients and customers um, and that is it this week for Talking BS with Melody. Feel free to comment if there's a topic, um, if there's a question that you have that maybe I can cover in future episodes. I would love to do that. Um, but feel free to comment, subscribe, like, do all of that fun stuff. And I hope to see you next Tuesday. Bye. <music>